welcome on my channel if you are owner of a manufacturing industry or you are working as a plant head or even at a senior position what are your objectives the first one will be that you should have a growth in your business from time to time the your business must grow today you have today you have one plant maybe in future you want to have a second plant or third plant also the second would be whatever product you are making it has to have a very good quality maybe at world level and if it is world level then you would be asking for export potential of your product because whatever products you are making that can be exported to various countries like usa uk germany or maybe any european countries so this would be your third objective and the last most most important is that your business must run in profitability if your business is not giving profit you cannot go for a second plant or third plant and your business will not grow so all these objectives has to be fulfilled when you are running a business now to fulfill those objectives you must get your industry certified from a certification body but there are so many certification bodies in india active now approximately 41 numbers of uh, certification bodies are active as per the nabcb uh, site if you go on nabcb site you will find around 41 industries but i have quoted only 10 for that you have to see my part 1 of this particular series wherein i have described about certification bodies and accreditation bodies so please please go through this so that you know what are the various certification bodies and their accreditation bodies also and to which countries they are attached okay so if you have not seen my first video the first part then you must go and see this first part then only you can go through this video also so how to select that is a problem and in this video i have given a solution that how to decide what are the various selection criteria to decide a particular certification body so let's move to the main topic that how to select a certification body so how to select a certification body what are the various selection criteria for selecting a certification body okay let's move further before going into details of the main topic let me remind you of my previous series that is iso series 1 wherein i have produced seven videos on iso topics various iso topics and these are very primary things which you must know if you have not seen these videos i will request you to go on my site and see these videos okay this will give you very good knowledge about iso system and if you go through this then only you can understand this series 2 also so please go through these videos also okay so now in this series 2 i am i have already produced one video that is part 1 which is on accreditation and certification body okay you go through this also okay and now this particular part 2 is on selection of a certification body so how to select so let's move coverage what i am going to cover in this what are the various selection criteria for deciding a certification body first one is reputation any certification body which you decide it must be a reputed one it's not a fake one because nowadays people are working and giving certificates but they don't have any accreditation no authorization to issue a certificate so you have to see that in your business whatever business you are doing whatever plant you are operating in that particular situation what particular certification body and accreditation body is having a good reputation in the india as well as in the world okay so you have to select a proper body which has got a very good reputation in your field okay whatever field you are whatever field you are operating you should select a reputed certification body okay the second one is the certification body should have a good experience they must have a good experience maybe 10 15 years experience 
and they must be dealing with various types of industries and your industry must be one of their type so when you ask for quotations and all these things you must ask for their experience in various industries and you also check whether what important industries they have already certified okay this will give you a, a very good idea in selecting a particular certification body then the third is accreditation body any certification body which you select it must be accredited by some accreditation body means it must be authorized by some accreditation system or accreditation body so you must check whether that certification body is accredited or not it has to be authorized by some accreditation body okay and to know this all these things you again i request you to see my series 2 part 1 okay you must see part 1 which describes in detail about accreditation and so you have to select a certification body which is accredited okay the fourth one is specialization any industry any certification body which you select it must be specialized particularly in that particular field suppose you are going for iso 9001 or qms then it must have a good specialization of qms certification this will help you in improving your system because if they are specialized their auditors are specialized then they will help you in adding or value addition in your plant or in your system so the fifth comes as i said value addition the certification body should be such that it will add to your system whatever weaknesses you have whatever system you are lacking they must tell you about that because if they are specialized in that particular area then they will definitely give you a suggestion which will improve your uh, total working system and thereby adding value to your system so this also has to be checked that whether they are able to give any value addition to your system or not okay then comes <coughs> business growth this certification body must be helpful in your growing your business see there are two things see there are two things which i will add to this one is that whatever certification body you will select you have to see because if the business growth is there maybe today you are going for qms maybe tomorrow you will ask for ems or maybe iatf or maybe osas there are different certification uh, standards are there okay so you have to go for that so their certificate so your certification body must be capable of certifying you for various standards otherwise if they are not then you will have to select different certification bodies for different system which will add to your cost so certification body should be such that for your future growth of your business they should have all the specialization in that particular standard or business whatever and the second thing is that they must add to your export potential now in this case if you are getting certified from a uk based accreditation bodies acting in india okay and if you want to export your product to uk or england then if you are certified by this uk body like ucas is there accreditation body from uk then it will give a preference to you so it is best that whatever export you are thinking of to which country you are thinking to export you must select a certification body which is having origin in that particular country whether it is germany whether it is usa or any european country because it is a natural thing that if you are selecting a certification body for that particular country and you are exporting to that country then they will give a preference to you because your body is or your plant is certified by their accreditation system their certification body so these are the two points one is that they should add to your business whether you are going ems iatf they should be equally competent in certifying in those areas also and the second thing is they should be helping in you and the second thing is they should be helping in exporting your business potential okay now after that the seventh one is service this is also a very important area 
because what i have seen after the certification process is over and they have recommended you but in issuing the certificate they take much time sometime two or three months maybe sometime six months also by different bodies so you should select a certification body which are prompt in issuing your certificate because if the delay is there in the issuance of the certificate then your client will be asking for confirmation that whether you are certified or not and if you are not in a position to produce your certified certificate then you may lose your business also so in selecting a certification body you must also see their service aspect also you must get them confirm before allotting the business to them that after this certification system they must issue certificate as early as possible so this is a very uh, prime requirement which people are not aware okay so this has to be there and you must select according to their service promptness okay and the last and most important is your cost effectiveness they should be very competitive because if you have selected a body and the cost is very high that it will add to your cost so you have to select a body that cost is at a compromise level it's not very high nor very low but it must be a good but primary thing is that when you see the cost you must see also that any body maybe it is charging less but are they satisfying this all seven criteria or not so if you have selected suppose you have selected three certification bodies and you are finding that all these things are being met by this all three but the price is in one case it is low as compared to the second or third then you should go for a first one because the charges are less as compared to the other two but the criteria remains same that it has to fulfill all these requirements therefore cost effectiveness is one of the most requirement in selecting a certification body in this case your iso consultant will be a very helpful hand in selecting a certification body but you also select from your angle all these criteria are matching and he will guide you in selecting a proper certification body so these are the various criteria which i have explained you and i hope that this criteria if you follow you will be certainly selecting a particular and effective certification body for your system okay let's move so i hope whatever problem you were having in selecting a selection so i hope whatever problem you are facing in selecting a certification body must have been solved when you go through this exercise and i'll come and i will assure you that if you go through the entire process whatever i have discussed all the selection criteria including your cost effectiveness also then you will be definitely selecting a good certification body for your plant that will help you in meeting all your objectives which i have earlier told you in the starting of the this particular slide okay so i hope all your problems relating to selection of a certification body must have been answered in this particular video and in case you appreciate this video it has helped you then kindly like it share it with your friends give your positive comments and if you are new on my channel then i'll request you to subscribe my channel so that you get time to time information on my future videos also so so till then wait for my next video thanks thanks a lot